You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. Alex talks a few times today about PET CT. I go on and on about it. So if you've read any of my literature or watched any of my videos, you know all about it. But the short version um, is where CT scans just show whether there's a shape or a shadow. Uh, a PET CT can actually tell you whether that shape or shadow is cancer. Big difference between those two scans. Don't let anyone tell you they're the same or that a CT is good enough. Um, and Alex was talking earlier also about, uh, just in answer to somebody, he was uh, talking about um, MRI versus PET CT. Uh, I wanted to just give people a general gist. If you're thinking about doing these things yourself, we can certainly help coordinate all of this stuff for you. But in terms of pricing, he mentioned an MRI is cheaper. As a rule, an MRI at one of our, um, the private clinics that's local to us in British Columbia, for example, and this is fairly common pricing. It's about $600 for an MRI. Uh, a PET CT scan is about $2,000. So you can coordinate these, you can, you can pay out of pocket for these. They usually take about a week to coordinate. So if it's something you'd like to have and your oncologist says no, you can still get one. Um, or if the oncologist says, yes, I'll order one for you, but it's gonna be 18 months, you can take matters into your own hands, but there is a cost. So um, Mausa, go ahead and ask your question. Um, and if anybody else has any more questions about anything else has talked about different types of breast cancer, genetic testing, treatment monitoring, let us know. And again, this, this meeting will end, but our presence in your world won't end. We'll be, you can email me, you'll have, you have all my contact. I think I've sent you probably five emails in anticipation of our get together today. So you know how to reach me uh, and I can answer any of the questions about how to access any of these things. Um, Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.